All right, y'all, I am, and I never thought I'd be doing this this early in the year, retiring my pure sharpshooter. Y'all might be wondering, Agent, why would you do such a thing? It's such a dominant build. I agree, it is. There's no debating it. I told you at launch it would be, and as the game went on, more and more people are making pure sharpshooters. They recognize it's a dominant build. But something happened last night where it really clicked for me. I was like, I can't do this anymore with the pure sharpshooter. And the main point is, it's just too easy. And not on no like ego, I'm better than everyone kind of thing. It's just really, I mean, we know 2K doesn't have a huge skills gap, but of all archetypes, if you pair one of the releases I drop with uh, the archetype most equipped to hit shots with it, you're not gonna miss any shots. I was playing Rainbow last night, man. It really clicked for me. I was getting my ass whooped for hours and hours on end. And I tried a new strategy when it came to aiming. Instead of flicking, I began to hold. It gave me a lot more accuracy, especially to be able to control the recoil. There's a skills gap in that game. And I went from over the course of six hours playing, getting my ass whooped by platinum level people, to doing the ass whooping in platinum lobbies. And it just felt so good. It was like a sense of achievement. I, there was a challenge. And I overcame the challenge and was whooping butt. I said whooping butt. Uh, I didn't mean it. I meant to say f***ing it up. Now, let's get back to 2K. Now, whether I called it the A1 or my Pro-Am jump shot or my previous park jump shot, you use any one of those jump shots with a pure sharpshooter. You hit the Q, you're not missing your shot. And it's almost boring how easy it is for me to get a green every single time. I know that whenever I'm playing, unless the latency decides to switch up on me mid-game, I'm cool. I'm gonna hit my green lights every single time with my jump shots. And this year, unlike last year, the difference is you can get the jump shot greater without grinding all the way till December in my career for it. So that means I could, I could take a slasher or a shot creator or a playmaker and use any of my jump shots without having to go through that mind numbing grind. And so for me, that was just opportunity. I don't wanna build that's easy. And keep in mind, y'all gonna say Agent Sharpshooter is the easiest build to use. It's not. In my opinion, it's either gonna be a slasher because it takes no skill to get a blow by animation, and it's so random, you don't know which layup or dunk animation you're gonna get. I mean, you could even put Shot Crater in the mix because mid ranges are so easy, especially coming off a screen. But Sharpshooter's in that mix too because the percentages, regardless of your release, are gonna be high. So you're gonna, you're gonna see people hit those contested shots, and it's not because they released the ball well. Some of the times, just because the percentages, because they chose a Sharpshooter. Everybody's so locked into their one archetype. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna have all archetypes. I have my pure sharp. I have my sharpshooting playmaker I have a couple new builds I'm gonna make one of which I think is gonna be my new prime But for me, I don't want to build that's easy to use I want to build that's not only a little bit more challenging to use but has a higher ceiling So a bum can't come in and just use the archetype like I can use it. because as a sharpshooter a bum can come in just hold square, no timing whatsoever from limitless range. And he still stands like a 40, 50% chance of actually making that shot. And for me, that's an issue. I'm telling y'all, I want that feeling of fulfillment when I drop someone off and I know it's because I have skill on the game and not because of some cheese meth. My sharpshooter put in work though, man. From the launch of the game, what we at, like 480,000 subscribers? We're at like 420 something now. But not only for me, was this a way to switch things up and keep it refreshing, but to create a challenge for me going forward and experiment with another build I know can dominate. I'm not gonna announce what that build is. Y'all gonna have to wait for the build video. In fact, if y'all want that build video, cause mm, someone's telling me to keep it low key. I feel like anytime I announce a jump shot, or I announce a build, everybody starts using it. And it's cool, it's nice I get to help people out. Sometimes, you know, I there's some jump shots I keep to myself I haven't told y'all about. They're not A1, but they're really good and they're, they're on the course and there's maybe some one thing wrong about them that keeps them away from A1. There's enough pure sharpshooters to go around, all right? If I want a pure sharpshooter, I can hit up the millions of people I know that have one and say, yo, run on my team because I have this other build now and I want to use your pure sharpshooter on my team just so we can continue to stretch the floor. Just because I'm not using that build doesn't mean it's not dominant, right? No matter who you're playing, a pure sharpshooter is going to be valuable. And then run a big that has IQ. That's all you really need. I want to say RIP to the sharpshooter. We're going to call this sharpshooter, we're going to call the six foot five sharpshooter. Literally the perfect, we're gonna call it the OG sharpshooter, that's the name. I'm still gonna use it for Prime, it's not like I'm never gonna touch it anymore. I'm just, if I use it on Park, it's gonna be for a special reason. I might use it for that Ruffles thing, I do want my unlimited boost though. But let's switch things up, man! Y'all seeing Agent dominate with a sharpshooter. People on the channel saying, Agent, we do indeed want to see some more gameplay. I got y'all with that gameplay. Y'all want to see those meme videos, I know y'all love those meme videos, I got y'all with that. But if playing Rainbow, 
has taught me anything. That no matter what game I play, I'm lit at that game. That's what I know, man. So whatever archetype I use, I'm lit at that archetype. The only reason I can never use bigs is because, you know, I like touching the ball a lot. And you know, when you're a big, sometimes, especially when you're playing with randoms or you're playing with teammates without IQ, you just don't touch the ball. I know y'all bigs can relate. I, it's frustrating being a big sometimes. I like touching. If, if you gave me three, four straight possessions without touching the ball, especially if we weren't playing, comp, if we're playing comp opponents, I'm chilling. If we're playing scrubs and I'm not touching the ball, you better give me the ball. Without a question, I want to be touching the ball. But hey, you put us up against some guys who's trying to drop me off, who's trying to make a video out of this, and I'm gonna play super serious. I need y'all to drop a like on this video. Let's try and get this video to 10K likes, please. I hit 90 overall with my sharpshooter in like literally the first few days of launch, and I just slowed down tremendously. I don't even want to grind on the player anymore. On top of the fact that we're hearing 92 overalls aren't seeing their skateboard show up in their closet, which is really the only reason for me to continue to grind at this point. Unless I hit 95, in which case I'll get the times two VC, but I might as well just buy VC. I'm not gonna grind all that time. Or I could just play Anio, right? Whenever it stops lagging me out of games, either one. At the end of the day, I want to drop videos that are lit. And I wanna destroy the game when I'm playing it. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. On the screen now, you're seeing some of my most recent videos. Click them if you wanna watch. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out. Peace.